What's up everybody, my name is Martin, welcome to today's video. I just got a quite big box in the mail, as you can see here, and I'm going to unbox it. I already know what is uh, in here, but I'm going to show you, and after that I am going to show you the rest. Um, yeah, of course you can already tell by the thumbnail what's in this box, but uh, I'm going to take you through the unboxing anyway, and for that I am going to use my biggest bayonet. <coughs> Oh, that's one side. Hope I don't cut myself. Thank God that never happened so far. But for everything is the first time. So, the box is now open. <coughs> In here there is some paper and some bubbly foil and I can always enjoy doing this okay enough of that let's continue oh nice 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 okay checking it out for myself first <laughs> But uh, yeah, right here I have a M38 Fallschirm Jäger helmet with the uh, eagle on there. Too bad it doesn't have the swastika, so uh, on this side it has the flag, so it's a early model. But um, I am going to convert this into a Normandy camouflage M38 paratrooper or Fallschirmjäger helmet. And these bands, there is a specific way that you have to put them together. And I am not sure how. So, um, I might figure that out along the way. But um, it's quite funny because when you put this on your head, let's see if it fits. That's a, it's a very tight fit. Oh my god. Uh, let's see if I can make it a bit bigger. Oh, this is actually hurting my head. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I'm not uh, reenacting Fallschirm Jäger anyway, but uh, I wanted to have one in my collection. But. Yeah, I'm gonna figure this out, not now. First, I am going to uh, take care of the liner, because as you can see, it's really new. Man, I can't believe this one is so, so tight. You can barely get it on my head, and you can also see that it's just... Weep, 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 popping back up, so... <clears throat> um, if I want to buy one for uh, actually wearing this during a reenactment event somewhere in the future, I will need to get a bigger helmet. But yeah, I am going to take care of the, uh, the liner. I'm going to show you what I use. Let me grab it and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I am using this VG best quality Indringwerf, which means penetrating paint. And it's specifically made to paint a leather. In here you'll get a bottle of paint of course. And a brush thingy which has a, some kind of cloth on the outside and some sponge on the inside. Um, it has a really strong Scent, don't like it at all, but uh, it works perfectly to dye a helmet. So I'm going to show you how to do this. <clears throat> so you take the brush, dip it in the paint, 
It's really liquid, so not right now it looks like this. And then you take the helmet and you just rub it on there like so. Also take the edge. And this is changing the color of the leather really fast, as you can see. Which makes it look really nice and authentic. Because you have to imagine some paratrooper guy joined up in 1939. And he's been through basic training, went to drum school, been carrying his helmet all the way throughout the war with him. So, been sweating a lot, been running around a lot, been in combat a lot. So the entire leather liner is got. Oh my god, that's on my floor. Shite. <laughs> I will take care of that in a bit. <clears throat> um, this smells really bad. So yeah, the liner will turn color eventually, but uh, since I won't be wearing this helmet for four years straight, day in day out, I'll just take the easy way, which is buying a bottle of leather paint and applying the paint on the helmet liner. Oh man, it smells. Uh, first off, I am going to uh, clean up my floor. I spilled a little and I don't want to get it in my floor. Okay, so the liner is done, as you can see. Nicely done, nice and dark. I also did it on my other uh, M35 helmet. And I also took care of the straps because they were grey, now they are brownish looking. And right now I am going to take it outside to. Uh, Scratch it up a little because this uh, paratrooper has been using this helmet for quite a long time. It's quite a nice color though, but uh, it has some brown and some gray in there. But um, yeah, like I said, I want to make this into a normally camouflage helmet. So let's go outside. Okay, welcome outside. So, right here, uh, we have the helmet. Throw it around a little bit. Get some nice scratches on there. went better than expected. I don't know if you can see it actually. As you can see it has some uh, chipped off the paint. Also a bit along the side. So this is uh, four years of combat in uh, two minutes. <laughs> Right now I'm going to set up everything to, uh, to paint the helmet, so I'll be right back with you. Alright, our paratrooper has been uh, through uh, four years of combat. He's been fighting through the Netherlands, went to Belgium, went to uh, someplace else. Had some leave for a little while. So uh, his helmet looks like this right now. And now... Uh, the Allies are coming, it's near the 6th of June of November 44. The Germans are pre preparing for the uh, American invasion and the English and Canadian and French landing on the beaches of Normandy. 
and he wants his uh, helmet painted. So for that I am using paint Dunkergelb, mud brown and Feldgrau, which is some kind of a greenish color. And now we are going to paint the helmet. Let me see if I can get you a nice view. Also, which is not quite historically correct for me, excuse me for that, is that Hitler ordered to uh, take off the decals, uh, the flag decal on the helmet somewhere in 1941, I believe. But um, yeah, this helmet is going to paint it anyway, so you won't see it afterwards let's see what this is looking quite good so first you start off with the um, Duke Gelb make sure the straps are all nicely tucked under there beautiful thing about this is that you can see the scratches right through the paint. Then it will give a nice result. As well. So it's quite windy outside, so this is. Uh, Painting with uh, some experience. Sometimes there are helmets that you can see which also have more many camouflage on them. I just still can't see the decal, but most of the helmets, you will also be able to see it on this one, but most of the helmets will be, uh, the decal will be gone. So, I think this is good, I'll check for one last time. I got this helmet really cheap, so I wasn't able to fit it in the shop from uh, marketplace. So that's why it is too small. Or else I would have picked one that was <laughs> actually fitting my head. So, all right, the first layer is on there. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and then I'll come back for the next layers. Okay, the first layer of uh, Dunkelgelb is uh, dry, so now I am going to apply the second layer, which will be the felt glow. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that's the green already. It ain't much yet, but uh, as soon as the uh, the brown comes on it, it will definitely. Oh, you can see shit here <laughs> because of the sun, but uh, I will show you the end result anyway at the end of the video. So uh, now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I will apply the last layer of mud brown. Okay, the paint has been drying and the sun moved a little, so let's put this over there. But uh, yeah, it's come together quite good. So Let's apply the last color, which will be mud brown. <clears throat> just like I did on my uh, Rautaren M35 helmet, just some spots, nothing too much. bit of overlapping here and there. I guess this turned out quite good. Just a little bit more here. Okay. So you can see some brown, some green, still some some dunkelgelb, yellow, sand color. So turned out pretty good. Maybe just a little bit here, some more. I'm gonna let this dry once again and after that I am going to uh, do a little bit of weathering because uh, I don't like the uh, entirely new look of it so I have these little scratches right over there and there from the throwing around that I just uh, did earlier but I also gonna sand uh, the edge a little bit uh, sand the screws a little bit and get some scratches uh, once again on the top of the helmet so Gonna let this dry like I said, and then I'll be back. All right, the helmet is entirely dried up. And it actually, oh, doesn't matter. It actually looks quite good. Quite happy with the result. Now I am going to take a little sandpaper to uh, sand the edge a little bit. And the screws. So. Seems seems to be plastic though. Not sure if these screws were made from plastic back in the days, but just a little bit like so. Uh, there's a reason I could get this helmet for. Oh dear, they are actually made from metal. There's a reason that I get this helmet so cheap, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a little fun little project. Let's see. And eventually it will be fun little extra of my uh, of my collection even though it's reproduction oh god damn it some sharp little edge in there so as you can see the 
edge is nicely done. It's a bit silver. Screws are done. Right now what I'm going to do is throw it around a little bit more. Like so. <laughs> I think it's coming together quite good. Maybe. Just take it. Just a little bit on these edges, sides. Let's see if this will work. Oh my. There's a big chip. Might want to see if I can still fix that, but all in all, the helmet came out. Uh, actually, it's on the back of the helmet, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> just take it a little along the shrubs here. So you get these little fine lines, as you can see. Another side as well. Oops, banged it against some metal. And wow, <laughs> this is actually looking really good. Let's see if I can put it on here. So you can see the, uh, the scratches all over the helmet. Nicely done. Also, the inside is uh, it's nice, uh, nice and dark. Kind of figured out who, how to put the, the strap. Still not quite sure how to do it, but uh, yeah, man, I'm really happy with the result actually. Very cool. Okay, these are my three German helmets so far. Uh, first two are M35s. This one you of course will uh, recognize from the uh, video that I made earlier. Still looking uh, quite good. Still really happy with the result, but uh, as I s mentioned in that video, I'm gonna try some uh, different techniques in the future. So I will always uh, also make a video about that. This is an M35, which you can uh, see recognize on the folded edge and the vent hole here that's a separate piece this also is an m35 which has a uh, it was a double decal m35 which i want to make uh, as a early helmet used in the invasion of uh, the netherlands belgium and france in uh, 1940 in may and right here we have the paratrooper helmet so as you can see what I'm doing on the beginning of the video I used some uh, leather paint or leather dye to uh, make the leather look more old and more sweaty and whatever so uh, that came out uh, pretty good I also mentioned that I also did it on this helmet as you can see, nice and dark. Right here, there's also a name in there, Olesh. And this is a pretty good replica, though, because it has the uh, the stamp in there for the size and the manufacturing uh, stamp, and also a uh, small white tie in there. Um, I'm gonna need to do this one again because the decal came off here sadly, so uh, Gotta buy new decals And yeah, this one is just a cheap very cheap uh, Replica as you can tell by the liner. There's still some paper in there for the Where there was a sticker <laughs> and Yeah, this one is is just cheap, but I wanted to buy this for the uh, the Routarn video so all in all, the uh, 
The helmet came out pretty good, but uh, you can tell that it's just a cheap replica. But yeah, the M38 Falsche Amiga helmet. As you can see, nice scratches on there, which gives it a really used look. And uh, in the end, I'm really happy with the result that it uh, turned out. I also made these little posts a while back. I also have it on some other helmets, as you can see right over here. And also in the cabinet. But uh, yeah, it's nice to put your helmets on there. So, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, I'm going to give you a little close-up. Really cool. It was uh, just a fun little project that I uh, could do in the meantime. Also, it's been uh, a little while since I uploaded my last video, so this was a good opportunity to make another video. I hope you learned something uh, of it. If you would like to, uh, to do some kind of these projects uh, for yourself in the future, uh, it's really fun to do. Uh, I always enjoy uh, working on, on helmets, as you can tell. I also have some other projects uh, coming. Right here, there's the uh, paratrooper helmet that I have, uh, the glider helmet that I did uh, in the previous video. So yeah, I always like to be uh, be a little bit uh, creative. I have much more uh, projects coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, all I have to say is uh, thank you for watching. Please, please leave a thumbs up every time this gets me. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you uh, have something uh, on your mind. I uh, will respond to, uh, to all the comments. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.